It's the work week. I walk a lot for my stage, mapping an impoverished community, sometimes petting cats or getting caught in the rain. Now it's the weekend, I treat myself to a chocolatine and latte from my favorite cafe, then enjoy a nice walk with my friend. I sit on a bench with my friend, observing a dad handling a newborn baby and looking out onto the water. As my friend goes to her night shift, I cure my boredom by going to the museum. I spend some time looking at these paintings by a Canadian-Ukrainian artist. She depicts the Saparozhia power plant, one of the main areas of fighting at different times of day, each with a block of color that doesn't belong there, breaking a wall with the viewer. Today we are making a banana I resolved to attend as many events this summer as I can in Montreal, so I checked out the last day of this food truck event at the Olympic Stadium despite the rain. My dad visits me and I take him to the festival on the canal where we enjoyed some rock music as the sun set. It's Saturday morning and we prepare for a hike at Mont Lougarou, 1.5 hours away from the city. it back from the mountain and I met up with my friend to go get ice cream at a place that I always run by. a miel lavande ice cream and it was amazing. Highly recommend this place if you're in the city. Hello everyone. Hi. I haven't vlogged in so long. I just watched Lizzie McAlpine's video of her tour and it inspired me to film anything I want. I think I've been very much in my head about what I'm filming. What am I saying? I don't know. I think I'm just very uninspired right now. I've been working every single day. I do not have a weekend so I kind of never have time to film but I got a new camera and I'm so excited about it. I have an internship Monday through Friday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday I work at a restaurant. So it's been very chaotic and I have not had time to film hence the lack of videos I'm really trying to get back into it especially because I have my new camera I need to just use it I'm waiting for like the perfect moment to use it but there is no perfect moment so I'm just gonna film also there's just I'm not inspired with my videos recently I never talk to the camera because the thing is with talking is that when you look back at yourself and watch what you said it's just embarrassing <laughs> Like, I'm probably gonna look back at this clip, if it even makes it into the video, and be like, why did I include that in the video? It's horrible, you know? So, 
I don't know. It's just been a bit of a struggle and I've been very busy working, basically. By the way, I applied to exchange, so look forward to those videos. I have no idea where I'm going because it's a lottery system at McGill, so I ranked four places and now we wait to figure out where we're going. But as of now, I am getting ready for my job. At the restaurant, I am running on about five hours of sleep because I worked there last night as well and we ended at midnight. People were not leaving the restaurant, so that's awesome. Then I worked today and then my coworker invited me to a party. So I think my friend and I are gonna go. Sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time. Have not been to a party in about, I couldn't even tell you how long. Really out of it, really just want to sleep to be honest that's basically been how i've been feeling is that i just want to sleep and i also just want to go home i don't want to be here anymore my dad was here for a conference then my sister came because she was moving now it's just me again but it's okay we're pushing through i need to do my hair to sum it up i've been very uninspired with my videos i want to do something new i want to do something unique i have ideas but i don't know how to execute them the other thing is i just don't have time because i basically work every single second of my life so that's the other thing and third of all i'm just very tired i guess that goes with the second thing because i work every second of my life i am very tired and when i do have free time which actually is never i am laying in my bed trying to recuperate so that is currently my life or i'm running or swimming which is my new routine so yeah my life is essentially that it's not exciting there's nothing to show i should probably make a video about my internship but i don't know how to do that in a way that's interesting okay we're gonna put some of this persian garden will it focus oh my god testing this camera is so amazing i will not stop talking about it my friend showed me this shout out tolly love very slight scent however my go-to scent is this one i found it on the cape with my friend tonka i love it anyways don't know why i'm telling you this but it's kind of fun i watched lizzie's video and i got inspired because she just talks to the camera and i love watching that and i love watching her video and it was just so nice to watch and so refreshing there's not music and there's not a montage and there's not things going around like i think my videos are too much someone told me that they felt sensory overload or like not even that but like it's too much and honestly i can relate it is too much i think i don't know i don't know what i'm doing no one knows what they're doing i don't know what i'm doing so anyways i need to put on my waitressing outfit i've been filming for eight minutes now and i just love this camera so we'll see if any of this makes it into the video okay work outfit is on i still have some time so i'm going to make my bed pick up my room a bit because it's a bit of a mess so you can watch that happen exciting this is all dirty this is not aesthetic <laughs> Okay, turns out I still have some time. I'm gonna make a coffee because I'm dead. Even though I just had a coffee like an hour ago. I'm making another one. I just made a nice coffee to help me get through the shift. I don't know if I have time to wash my dishes, but I'm going to put the ones that are in the dish rack away just to make my life a bit easier. I'm gonna do that now. I finally have a day off, so I decide to try Alphabet Cafe. My Greek coworker recommended it, saying it's the most authentic place in town. I thoroughly enjoyed my Freddo cappuccino and lemon olive oil pastry, basking in the sun amidst the cafe's delightful chaos. I explored an amazing thrift store, the first one I found that's genuinely affordable. Mm -hmm. Then I stumbled upon a public piano and lost track of time, finally getting to play the pieces I've been longing to but didn't have the instrument for.